Hello everyone, uh, my name is Atikur Rahman, I live in Finland and today I will talk about very important topic, why I am not getting interview call in international job market. Very important topic I know, actually there are several reasons why you are not getting the interview call or not getting the job so first thing first why I am not getting interview call as I said it it consists or there are several reasons behind it the number one is tailoring your CV what does it mean it means you are not personalizing your CV I have seen many people use um, very common format or very common language of CV uh, for each and every single application, I would say you, sh you should have some sort of personalized uh, CV that uh, basically represent yourself. The second thing, you are applying for the job, but that is not match with your background, your experience and your expertise. So I personally recommend keep attention to the job requirements that you are applying for and match, try to match yourself that what are the qualification and what are the expertise that match with my uh, background and job requirement. What are the experience that I have done so far in my previous uh, job. So try to match with them is an every single point. So if you think that the 70% of your background education qualification expertise experience masses job requirement then i personally recommend you can apply for the job if not you still can apply but there is a very good chance that you you might not get the interview call well number three your cv are too long yeah, there is a very good chance that you have a lot of experience already and there are a lot, lot of things to write in the CV. That's that's okay. But I, I recommend not to keep your CV more than two pages. If you have, for example, five to ten years of experience and you have done so far a lot of things already and it doesn't cover with one or two pages, uh, you may be writing your CV with five, three, four pages. Nobody will read that because it's very highly competitive market at this moment. And you need to keep these things very short. At the same time, you need to represent yourself as much as you can. So your CV should be one page or two pages, not more than that. That's my personal recommendation. Maybe you are not applying for enough jobs. That another reason that you are not getting the interview call. If I talk about my story in Finland, I got my first job after applying 193 applications. So it was huge within eight months. I have applied a lot. Uh, okay. Another thing is you might have a large or a recent employment gap that's fine but before recruiter create his or her own assumptions about you you explain it why you had a long uh, gap so so that it might create a positive impact and recruiter might call you for for the interview this is also important Many people write the career objective in CB. I think this is a very unnecessary section. You could remove that and instead you can just write some sort of short summary of yourself, who you are, what you want to do and what you have done so far with very few sentence. And so that before going through all of your history, experience and everything, you need to 
put attention to your summary so that everyone can understand oh okay this person is that and he wants to do something like this and that's it and then uh, recreators or, or the hiring managers they will get attention to your full CVs and they will really read it why I'm seeing that all the things are important you need to keep in mind that because market at this moment in the tech industry for on positions only on positions thousands of people apply for for the jobs so who will be the right fit for that right it's very challenging so if it is very challenging you need to stand out from the crowd that's the point so how do you want to stand out from the crowd i personally recommend uh, you should have very personalized CV. You should have well representation of LinkedIn profile. You should have well representation of your portfolio website or your GitHub profile. So all three things, CV, LinkedIn profile, your portfolio or GitHub or both of them need to be consistent uh, with each other what does it mean it means some sort of personal branding the way you are representing yourself it has to be represent that it's you it's not someone else every person or every people have their own expertise their own way of representation and own way of like unique values you need to represent your values for example, someone is a software engineer and someone is user experience designer. Or you need to think who you are and what you can and what you are good at. So those kind of things are very important when you are like try to personalize yourself, when you are trying to build your personal brand. So, okay, what is personal brand? Let's talk about personal brand now. Personal brand is something like, again, personalize yourself. Uh, make some sort of online presence. Okay, so. Well, then what is personal brand? Very important question, right? So personal brand is something that represent yourself and who you are. And what is the value of you so that's your personal brand to represent your personal brand uh, I would say you need to have highlights what you are necessarily good at what you enjoy well let's let's then talk about uh, personal brand what it is and why it is important personal brand is something that basically represent yourself means that who you are what you do what you are naturally good at and what you enjoy or what are the expertise or value that keep the attention by the others or people can recognize me for example for me people wherever I work in different company people think that okay this guy do a very very nice design good design and he is expert in the user experience stuff a lot of people are good at coding writing code building applications it doesn't mean that you also have to do the same so what I am trying to point out that what I'm trying to point out is to follow others, but to but to keep attention yourself, who I am, what I do, what I want to do and what I enjoy. So that's the things you need to do. Everyone writing code, you don't have to write the code if you don't don't enjoy it. So that's that's your uh, of course, you have some uh, strength. And you need to put attention your strength 
so now actually so those personal brand should be represented in your profile in your personal website or portfolio so how actually we can build a personal brand in your portfolio or personal website let's talk about that your personal website is some sort of identity of you like a cv so if you have your personal website again it should represent yourself right my personal website and someone other's personal website cannot be exactly the same why i'm saying that because it's important to stand out from the crowd when you are applying for the job so how your personal website should look like then i strongly recommend when you build your first personal website you create a, a logo that will represent yourself that logo could be with some sort of text some info uh, icons or some other symbols that represent you or your personalities or personalization and the text and color or font you used should be consistent everywhere so not only in the personal website but also in the cv or maybe linkedin banner so you can have all three things connected with the same branding same style same font and those kind of things and also not only the font colors and styling but also your voice the way you are writing your website who you are what you have done so far should be consistent voice everywhere in linkedin your cb and some other places in the online platform so that basically represent yourself with your personal value and your personal voice be yourself in all platform in your cb linkedin and personal um, website so try to represent what you are necessarily good at uh, who you are and what you have done so far and what you enjoy right so some sort of very flexible things that you could represent but this is what you need to do well maybe some other episode i will show you how a linkedin profile should look like but in this video i can give the link of my linkedin profile i know my linkedin profile is not good enough still but still you can have some sort of idea of why those content are important and maybe you also can visit my website uxathic.com is some sort of a representation of personal website and uh, yeah and that's it thank you everyone for watching this video uh, subscribe my channel if it helps you anywhere but of course you can you can write your your thought also what do you think what could be the best possible uh, way that people can get uh, the interview call then hired hired by by the recruiters or so wish you good luck for your next journey and wish you you will find your very nice and dream job very soon thank you Thank you.